गाइस वेलकम बैक टू सेवन इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल फॉर डेली सेवन इंजीनियरिंग वीडियो टुडे आवर लेक्चर इज अबाउट द एक्सेल स्ट्रेसेस सो वी कैन डिफाइन द एक्सेल स्ट्रेसेस एज द स्ट्रेसेस क्रिएट्स व्हेन द लोड एक्स अलोंग द एक्सिस ऑफ द मेंबर फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई कंसीडर एनी कॉलम लेट्स सपोज दिस इज एनी कॉलम एंड दिस लेट्स सपोज इज द फिक्स सपोर्ट ऑफ द कॉलम एट द बॉटम सो व्हेन द लोड एक्स ऑन दिस कॉलम इट्स पी and this is the axis of the beam so due to this load the, it will create some stresses in the along the axial direction of the column so the stresses created due to this load will be called as the axial stresses because the load p is acting along the axis of the member this a column is a compressor member and it always have axial stresses because the load always act along the axis of the member sometimes we also design the column for the little load which creates the flexure stresses in the column and the column will bend in this way so due to this load we have some flexure stresses but mostly the column is designed for the axial stresses due to the axial load acting on this column so the axial stresses will be p over a where a is the cross section of this column it may be rectangular column it may be circular column so dividing the load over area we can get the axial stresses for this column and sometimes if we consider the beam let's suppose this is a simple supported beam so this is the axis of the beam mostly the beam is a flexure member and they are subjected to the bending stresses due to the load of the simply supported beam on this beam it will deflect in this way so we have the flexure stresses uh, in the in this section of the beam but somehow when we have some little forces acting on the beam we can say is the p so this load acting along the axis of the beam you can see here so now this force will create the stresses in the beam which is known as the axial stresses and its formula is simply that you can find out p over a similarly axial stresses in the beam as well so it means that the axial stresses always are always along the axis of the member while the perpendicular load creates stresses which is known as the flexural stresses due to this load if we will have bending and we have flexural stresses while along the axis we will only have axial stresses hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching my video